Hi, I'm Gloria Lieberman, head of the jewelry department at Skinner's. And many people bring us jewelry that is not signed and would like us to attribute it to someone. One of the areas is arts and crafts jewelry. And I brought a ring today that exemplifies things that we look for to help us identify who makes jewelry. This ring has many clues. It has a citrine, that's the center stone, just a few diamonds on the side, it's asymmetrical, and has a motif of oak leaves and little beads. But the most important clue on this ring is the bezel. The bezel has little tiny notches, which relieves the heaviness of the stone. And that's a very important clue to who made this. I would say this is attributed to Edward Oakes. He sometimes signs the jewelry, but when he doesn't, look for these clues. When you can attribute a piece of jewelry to a specific maker, that always increases its value.